Welcome back to Lily and Rose. My name is Summer Noel, and today we're gonna do a super fun cup. Now, you guys have been asking me to do this for a long time. Um, I, it's been on my list. I have a giant list of tutorials that I'm gonna get through for you guys. Um, I keep promising you guys things, and I'm, I'm filming as furiously as I can while we build this beautiful, beautiful community that is our Tumblr tribe, tribe of Lily and Rose. Um, but that being said, let's just jump right in. We are gonna do a uh, snow globe tutorial today. Um, some of you may have received this in your swag bag. And, um, so if you did, I'm going to show you how to use it because a lot of you have been like, I got this. I don't know what the heck to do with it. So first we're going to just break it down. You just take the lid. We're going to put it off to the side for safekeeping because we don't need that right now. Then what you're going to do is you're going to unscrew the bottom it comes off just like that. And this piece will slide apart. So you will then have the three different pieces. Um, we are going to do a fun HP, themed cup um, for this one. And uh, you'll see other tutorials that I do and teach you different techniques on how to work with the inside of these um, and make really creative things on the inside. But for this one, we are gonna do the HP theme. Um, so we're gonna be using some really fun glitters. This is gonna be our flowing glitter and this is gonna be our color glitter. Um, we're also gonna be working with this gorgeous yellow paint. So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna tape off this cup, prep it and get it started. If you don't know how to prep a cup, jump back up on my channel down below there, you can click on something that says read more. Um, and you can also click on Little and Rose. If you click on Little and Rose, it will take you back to my entire channel. You can scroll back until some of my original, my OG videos, guys, and it will teach you how to prep your cup um, and get it to the point that we'll be at when we start spray painting it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually tape off the parts that I don't want spray paint on. So I don't want spray paint on this part right here because that's going to eventually be screwed down here but I do want spray paint around this part. So we're just gonna tape off the little threads here. We're also gonna tape off the top edge and lip of this cup. Then we're gonna take it out. We're gonna sand it, wash it, put it on our stick here. This is how I um, do paint on things, guys. This is my little holder. Um, this is really, really good for um, when you're spray painting because it's a stick, it keeps your hand away from it um, and you will uh, be able to spray paint it without getting stuff all over your hands. So we're just going to use electrical tape. I'm going to tape off the bottom. I'm going to tape off the back. Then I'm going to sand it like we do in the video, um, the prepping video, and we'll be right back. All right, guys, here we go. Storyboard number two. Um, I'm assuming I'm, I'm saying number two. I'm assuming I'm going to have the other one done before this one to launch, but I actually just realized maybe this one will get done filming first. Who knows? So here we go, guys. Uh, storyboard number two. Um, so we're going to separate the top. We're going to separate the bottom comes apart just like this. Take the paper out. We do not need that. We are going to make this into a beautiful glowing snow globe. Um, I'm going to set these off to the side, the bottoms and the tops. All right. So now we're going to be working with this. Actually, we're going to set that one off to the side too, because we do not need it right now. We're going to mainly work with this. Um, if you don't know how to prep a cup, guys, jump on my tutorial um, channel uh, down here at the bottom. Just click on Lily and Rose. It will take you to my entire channel. Scroll back until you find the how to prep a cup and go ahead and follow that tutorial. What we're basically going to do is we're going to tape off the threads of this. We're going to also tape off the rim around here, and then we're going to work with the center here. So I'm going to go ahead and jump in. We're going to be using glow and white spray paint in the next step. So I will set that off to the side and we'll be right back, guys. Okay, guys, we are now at the stage. We have got this cup beautifully painted. You can see uh, we're going to leave the tape intact for now. Uh, we will remove it after we finish it with the epoxies. Um, I've got my chemical mask on already. You can see I have my epoxy mix. If you've never worked with epoxy, guys, when you're working with a cup, you want to make sure your epoxy is FDA compliant. Um, if, you need, uh, if you don't know much about epoxy, but you want to jump in and try this, Underneath the tutorial, it'll say Little Ian Rose, and it'll say a little blurb, and it'll say Read More. Click on the Read More. There's going to be a full list of the different epoxies that I use. I have about four or five different epoxies that I use. They are all FDA compliant. Um, that means that they are food safe. So once they are cured, they're full food safe. However, when you're working with the project product at this point, it is not safe. You want to wear um, nitrile gloves, which is very important, and a chemical mask, you guys. Um, while it's processing, like it is, uh, it, it releases chemical vapors that you do not want to breathe in. So make sure you wear your correct PP, PPE gear. PPE gear means basically your safety gear, guys. Um, your nitrile gloves and your chemical mask. Now, I mixed too much because I'm doing multiple uh, tutorials right now, back to back. And uh, so I want to make sure I had enough for all three uh, tutorials as I move along. We're going to move quick. Um, so I mixed enough for all three. 
So there's quite a bit of in here. All you really need is about one ml of part A and one ml milliliter of part B. I just cleaned off my stir stick there um, with a napkin. So you have part A and part B in your epoxy. You're gonna measure it depending on your epoxy, follow your manufacturer directions for mixing. Uh, but generally there are one to one mix. So you'll do like one milliliter of A and one milliliter of B. It's very, very hard to do just one milliliter. You kind of have to eyeball it. Um, that's why generally when I do these, I let all of my um, hang method build up and I do them all at once. So what I'm going to do is I have to, you have to do this one with your finger, guys. You can't spread it with the thin enough with a makeup brush. So you're going to just take it on your finger and you're going to spread a super thin layer right down to this cup. You want it to be very, very thin. We're going to do a couple of these layers. What we're basically doing now is putting a nice barrier between this yellow paint and what we're going to do for the rest of the cup. Um, if you try to just do a decal right on this paint and then you have to reposition the decal or move anything, um, it will lift the paint right off the cup. Even if you sand and prep like we do, um, this cup has been prepped. So even if you're sanding and prepping, uh, the, uh, the taping will pull the paint off the cup. So you want to have a protective barrier of epoxy. We're going to do two coats of this. So we have two layers of hang method to make it nice and sturdy. But again, it should be difficult. If it's not difficult to spread this around, you're using too much if it's easy. So you can see I'm really working and pushing that epoxy around the cup. It should be thinner than a piece of paper, you guys. You don't want drips. If you get drips, it's going to get down in this rim, down in here, and you won't be able to complete the cup. It's going to mess up your cup. So first, make sure your paint is completely dry before epoxying, because that will also cause you problems. All right, there we go. We are fully on there. So we are going to let this one, we're going to move this one off to the side and let it sit. You can see the epoxy is beautiful. It's so thin. You can see it's not dripping off or anything. Um, and this is my drying uh, hanger, uh, my drying rack. If you don't have a drying rack, I have a tutorial on how to build this one, guys. It's like less than $5, super duper easy to make. And it just holds your cups um, while you work on them. All right, guys, we're going to jump off. I'm going to keep moving on to the next tutorial. Bye, guys. All right, guys, so here is this part where you've got two layers of the hang method on here. The second layer, you can see it's a slightly ripply because I added a little bit too much epoxy, and so that's where you get those ripples from. But I know I'm not concerned about it at this point because we're going to be putting more epoxy on, and that will all go away. Uh, but that is what happens. If you use too much epoxy on the hang method, that, those ripples is what you get because the product is trying to move its way self, self down the cup because there's too much of it. Um, so that is what you want to avoid. That's why we do really, really thin layers. Um, but again, I was rushing and in a hurry and I had mixed too much. So I, 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 mix, I used just a tad too much. So now we're going to take this uh, electrical tape and we're going to cut pieces off of it. And we're going to use this to tape off the areas for the stripes. So we're going to just take this and lay this right up basically along the top and just go down the cup. Just like that. We're going to gently press it down, bring it down the bottom, just like this. Make sure it's flush to the cup and press down. And we're just going to do the same repetitive stripe all the way around. All right, guys, we'll be right back. All right, so as you can see, we've got the stripes done. So now what we're going to do is we're going to use um, a very cool little holder to handle that I made. This is just a piece of, this is, happens to be a copper pipe, but you can do it with PVC pipe. And it's got a pool noodle on the end. So what I can do is you can take this, put this on the pool noodle as a little handle, and I'm going to take it outside and I'm going to use this Super 77 and I'm going to spray it all over and we're going to then come back in and we are going to put on our yellow glitter on the stripes and then we're going to go from there. You're going to see this is going to be a, a pretty cool cup. 
Um, so we're just going to take this outside. We're going to give this a good shake and spray all over this cup and get some good amount of Super 77 there for this to adhere to. All right, guys, we'll be right back. All right, guys, now you can see that this has, you can see on the, mainly on the black paint, you can see where the um, s uh, spray, the adhesive spray is sprayed all over this cup. Now we are going to put uh, the glitter on. Okay, I put a glove on, guys, just because I don't want this adhesive to get all over my hands. I'm a pretty messy worker, um, and I've learned recently just to just stop it. So what we're gonna do, I just put the gloves on and it keeps me from being a complete disaster. So we're just gonna be shaking this yellow glitter into all these workable spots. Get it all down on there real good you won't be able to really see this bottom part but you never know and the the fun is in the details and the importance is in the details so I'm just scooping it up off the thing you can just these little handles um, so I can hold it and spin it at the same time are fantastic all right so now we're gonna take it and we're gonna press it down uh, because we want this glitter, even though it's fine glitter, there's still a chance that it'll be too thick. And so we wanna press it real firmly down to that tack um, to make sure it lays as flat as possible so that we don't have to use as much epoxy to go over the top of it. All right, so there we go. We're just gonna press it down. So now we're gonna let this sit for about about an hour and let that tack really just solidify and dry and then we're going to do the next step all right guys we'll be right back all right guys we are back i have my chemical mask on that's why i'm a little difficult to hear i've got my nitrile gloves on we've got the cup set here this has the uh scotch super 77 uh down and then the glitter we press the glitter down nice and firm to get it really flat as flat as possible then once that kind of dried for about an hour, I took it outside and I put a clear coat spray paint over the top. So this has a full coat of clear, clear coat spray paint over the top. That's gonna help keep the glitter in place. Uh, then I've got this epoxy here that I'm mixing. We are gonna do a hang method layer of epoxy over the top. Now the reason you, do, you don't want... Hey mommy. Hey. Sorry guys, my kids all of a sudden just showed up next to me here at the workshop. <laughs> naked and covered in their dinner you can still hear them. my husband is grabbing them and shuttling them back to their table to eat their dinner sorry about that i don't let them out here when i'm working with epoxy so i quickly had to turn off the camera and shove them out of the workspace uh so because they have preemie baby lungs so they don't get to be around the epoxy so you can see that this one has the stripes ready to go I am now going to just take this and we are going to hang method over the top of this just to really seal the glitter in down and into place. The reason we do the hang method on this, you guys, is because we want it super, super thin layer. We don't want a big, thick, heavy layer because you'll get too thick and then your glass, your... Um, your case won't fit over the top so you've got to make sure that the glitter is really really thin and that the epoxy sealing the glitter in is also really thin so that's why we're using the hang method so we're just kind of rubbing it in Rubbing it on. This is why we weren't worried about it being ripply underneath, because I know you wouldn't, you weren't going to be able to see it anyway. So we're just kind of taking my finger and just rubbing it on here. Very thin amount, pretty much just enough to put a very paper thin layer over the top. We're really just trying to seal that glitter down. I'm on my work mat, guys. 
Uh, these are coming out. These came out in swag bag this month. They're very, very nice. You can work on them when you're working with keychains or just use your mat like this. Um, I use it all the time. I don't always use it when I film because it does affect the lighting because it's so dark and it affects the lighting, but it was very appropriate for this moment. All right, so now we've got, got epoxy down. Got a little extra there. Grab a paper towel, clean off my finger. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna make the, we're gonna pull the tape. So this taping, we don't want this tape to get sealed down with the epoxy. So we're gonna go ahead and pull it off and let the, that epoxy cure independently of this tape. Because if we leave it, that this tape will get epoxy down. It'll be very, very hard to get it off. So we wanna make sure we get it now while the epoxy is still very wet. This was just to make a taped off line for our burgundy stripes. Perfect. So we just pull those off. We can also pull this one off. The cup will start to come to life a little bit. Uh, let's see. All right. All right, this is a good opportunity for me to chit chat with you guys while we clean this up. If you haven't joined the Facebook group, I highly recommend it, guys. We have a lot of fun in there. We play a lot of games. There's a lot of giveaways um, that you can ask questions. There's a huge team of people in there to help guide you and teach you and inspire you. And our there's some very, very talented members in there that create absolutely gorgeous cups. Um, we're a big sharing community and helpful community. Um, so join. Come on in and join us. Um, and free, free, feel free to ask questions. We, um, we welcome the questions. We know a lot of you are learning. Um, and the only way you're going to get better is if you ask those questions. So it's really important. So we welcome them, guys. Um, we know uh, that you guys, all our newbies, and even some of our senior members, they have questions. Like, I'm always learning. I learn stuff from you guys all the time. Um, I love it. You guys inspire the heck out of me. All right, I'm gonna have to pull these top bits with tweezers because these gloved hands are very difficult to work with, but here you go. Now you can see the fun stripes on there and they all come to the points in the bottom. All right, so now we're gonna let this sit pretty much overnight and let that epoxy cure and we'll be back and we'll work on the next step. All right guys, see you soon. All right guys, now here we are. We are at this stage. We're gonna take the electrical tape and we're gonna tape off the yellow parts. You can see it's all um, epoxied in there. The glitter is not going anywhere. And we're just gonna pull strips of tape and kind of do what, exactly what we did before. Now, these might be um, a different size and that's okay, we'll just overlap. Okay, and then this one. All right, so there we go. Sorry, that's just me being 
crazy particular. So I, what you saw me do is I just shaved with my scissors just the thinnest little pieces off to make it fit perfectly down there. I'm not too worried about what happens down here at the bottom because you're not gonna see that anyway. That's gonna be in the underneath part of the storyboard. We just wanted to make sure that this line down here and this line were done very well. And we wanna seal this down real nice and smooth. Then we're gonna come and do this piece right here. Now this one won't go all the way to the bottom. This one will just start right at the edge of this other line. Oops. So this, this process is gonna be a little bit more tedious than the first process, because this one you have to actually go over with the lines you've already got existing and make that work. So that just adds another slight degree of difficulty. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and do this entire cup just like that. But what you saw what I did is I'm just basically covering up these lines, the glittered lines with electrical tape. All right, guys, we'll be right back. All right, guys, so here we go for this round. We are gonna first, we're gonna, we've got it all taped off. We retape this edge. We're gonna take it outside. We're gonna spray paint it with the satin burgundy. This is a Krylon color. Then we're gonna let that uh, dry and we're gonna then spray it with a Super 77 and we'll be back to add our glitter. All right, guys, so first we're gonna do uh, satin burgundy, Krylon color, then Super 77. We'll be right back. All right, guys. We've now got this, got with this uh, Super 77, we've got our Chunky Mix. This is just our custom HP. We're gonna do the same thing we did with the yellow. We're just gonna put it right down on top of that tacky spray. My very, very high tech mo move of scoop and dump. Okay. Should put a glove on for this part. So basically, I'm just tapping it down to make sure all the glitter is as flat as possible. All this chunky glitter is as flat as possible because we do not want to have to try to cover chunky glitter that's sticking straight up. So we're just going to tap it all down. I'm gonna do this all the way around the cup. I'm just gonna go in until you can't feel anything poking up. When you can feel it just as flat, then you're good. So right now I can see, like I can feel every once in a while there's one sticking up, so I'm just gonna tap on it until I get it nice and flat. All right, here we go. All right, so now we're gonna take this outside and we are gonna spray paint it with a clear coat spray paint just to seal down all of that glitter and then we will epoxy it. We'll be right back. All right, guys, we are back and we are ready for the next step. You can see I have got the epoxy over it. We have sealed it uh, down. Now we are going to uh, affix the, the uh, plastic covering onto the cup. So what I'm gonna do here is I've got a tiny bit of epoxy mixed. I'm just gonna take, I custom mixed this burgundy. This is just red and brown mixed together until I got the right color. Um, so I just fiddle diddled with the uh, acrylic paint until I got a color that I like. I'm just going to add a little bit of the red. I definitely have more than I need. I just uh, pouring it into this mixture here. 
This is just to color the, the uh, epoxy so that if you do happen to see it, uh, um, you will not, uh, it, won't, it won't stand out horribly because it's going to be this basic same colors of the cup. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it and I'm going to drizzle it down into the cup along this, this outer edge. Now, if I get it on the outside, I'm not worried about it because I can clean it up. I'm really just trying to not get any on the cup itself on the inside. I'm just trying to get it down in the trough, and that is it. Like I said, if it gets on the outside, we can just wipe it off. You really just need it on the inside, and this is gonna what's going to make it kind of a waterproof. down in so yes there are there is some coming down on the outside that's okay we'll just clean it up you just want to kind of pour it down on that inside line if you have like an eyedropper you don't mind using and disposing of you can use an eyedropper to squirt it down in there as well uh i just have a hard time with waste so i would rather do it like this and just clean up uh, because i have a hard time just having a, a one-time use eyedropper stresses me out i don't like to waste anything so really what i'm just trying to do is get this epoxy down on the inside of this rim here all the way around this epoxy is going to actually act like really really intense glue you only need a few mls it does not take a lot you guys that's why i'm not i didn't mix a big batch i just mixed a tiny tiny bit and we're just working it into this crack Scrape a little off. Again, I just colored this epoxy with a little bit of acrylic paint. I just mixed acrylic paint until I got the color that I wanted. This is just basically red and brown mixed together until I got the burgundy shade that I was looking for. And really, that's just so that if, it, if you do happen to be able to see a little bit of it on the cup, you, it's not noticeable because it's just going to blend right into the glitter colors. All right, guys, we've pretty much got that. So we are going to move on to the next step. I'm going to clean up a little bit and I'll be right back. All right, so now we've got all that epoxy down along this edge and in this crack. So what we're going to now do is we're going to take the plastic bit. And this takes some force, guys. I'm going to have to put pretty much all my body weight onto it press it down until it essentially clicks into place. Ay! you got to get this rim clicked into place. I'll probably have to put my full body weight on it. Oh, there it goes on one side. All right. So now you've got it anchored in there, set down. So you see, you can't see any of that epoxy that was in there, but it's in there. So that's what's going to seal this up really well. Sorry, guys, I have my chemical mask on. I'm a little bit hard to hear. Hard to hear. Um, so that's what's going to make this seal tight, 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 tight. Um, and then we're going to do something similar at the bottom here, but we're going to do all of our fun snow globey stuff. So we're going to take this and set it off to the side and let that epoxy cure. I'm going to give it a, a full 72 hours to cure on that one, guys. This is a process. These cups are a little bit more because you want a full cure before you add the liquid so that it can't mess up your epoxy. If it's not fully cured, the water and the oil when you put them in this cup can affect all that epoxy, all right? So we're gonna let this sit for a full 72 hours and we'll be back. Apparently I needed 85 Billy.
right, guys, as you can see, we're at the next step here. Um, this is now cured for 72 hours. You're gonna hear my Turner grind, groaning off to the side here. It's working hard on another tutorial. Um, but we're gonna move into the next step of filling this bad boy up. So this seal should be pretty solid now with that epoxy all cured up in there. Uh, we're gonna add our glycerin and water with our glitter. Um, I have two options. I've got the uh, the lightning bolts that I will stick down in there or the triangles. So you can see this one is the triangles and this is the lightning bolts. I haven't decided, can't decide which one I wanna do. So it's gonna be a game time decision right at the last minute here. Um, so now what we wanna do is we wanna put our liquid down in here. Um, so isn't that cute guys? It's coming out so cute. Um, so we are going to do equal parts water and equal parts glycerin. Um, now I, ju it's just preference. You can use all kinds of different, uh, fluids. You'll see me in different tutorials, use different fluids. This is the one I'm choosing to do for this one. Um, we want to fill it up relatively high. We've got the glycerin ready to go. We are going to do equal parts. So we are going to fill up. I'm just going to do it with using me me measurements of the medicine cup. We are gonna do two, I know it's gonna take at least two to fill this bad boy up. Set the glycerin off to the side here. That's just glycerin, cheapy, Hobby Lobby. I think it was $5. Ooh, and now we're just using a bottle of water to do the same thing. You want equal parts. It does turn cloudy when you first put them together. It's okay, don't panic. One two. All right. Check that out. And you can see how cloudy it gets when you first start stirring it together, kind of like epoxy does. Just keep stirring and you can see it goes clear. All right. There we go. Okay. So now we've got our fluid mixture because water is too thick and I mean, sorry, Glycerin is too thick and water is too thin. And then when you get the consistency of the half the glycerin and half the water, it's a really nice consistency. Now, last minute, my gut is telling me go with the, the lightning bolts. So we're gonna go lightning bolts. You wanna add your glitter in outside the cup. Otherwise you're gonna struggle. You're gonna get liquid everywhere. So you wanna put your glitter down in. I want a decent amount of glitter. I want it to be a fun cup. So you put your glitter down in. Stir it up, get the, see, this is where your problem is. If you just pour this into the cup, they have a hard time getting liquidy on each side. You have to stir like crazy and you have to kind of smash them down into the water. Um, what we're basically trying to do is get these glitter bits all coated with the solution so that they move freely through the moisture, the liquid, our water glycerin. And if you just pour them tap, tap, tap into the cup, they do this where they just want to sit on the surface. They don't want to move around the cup. So you can see by stirring it and pushing them down in there, they go down inside and they will create the fun snow globe. Now I'm not going to worry about every tiny little one because they will sort themselves out, but I just want to make sure, oh, look at that. I don't want to waste those. They're so cute. I love shapes and glitters. All right. So that's pretty darn good. We're just going to set this off to the side. Now we're gonna take our funnel. I'm using a funnel, you guys, because I don't wanna get liquid anywhere on this outer edge or down the outside of the cup. So we are gonna use the funnel to basically hold it there to make sure that this pours in the right direction. Stir up our glitter, get it all mixed up in there so it's not just settled on the bottom. And pour it in. Oh, that looks super cool. All right. I basically just wanna pour enough fluid in here to just start covering the threads of uh, the little thing in the middle here. Now we don't want to go overboard on that because we don't want it wet. All right, oh gosh, you guys are gonna, you're gonna freak out when you see how cute it is from this angle. All right, so we have extra, so I'm just gonna put it off to the side. I'm always doing multiple projects. Um, so now we are gonna work with our epoxy. So I'm gonna put my chemical mask back on and my kids have walked away with it, so I will be right back when I grab it. All right, guys, we are back. Um, I have my chemical mask on right now, so that's why it's gonna be a little bit more difficult to hear me. Um, I do try to talk loud when I'm wearing this sucker. 
but it is what it is. All right, so we've got our epoxy. This is epoxy mixed A and B. We've got our paper towels ready to go. This part is a little bit tricky because we got to put epoxy on the cup, but we've also got to be able to clean the cup and, and make keep the cup looking really, really attractive. So what we're going to do is we're going to take epoxy and we are going to run it along the threads on the inside here. These might end up getting wet, but I always say the more protection, the better. And see, I'm going to be putting epoxy down in this little hole. We're just doing this to make sure it has a really good grab. All right. And then we, oh, hi. Sorry guys, life with triplets. She decided to let herself into my workshop. Uh, she's been with her grandma all day. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this. This is very, very, very tricky. And we do basically the same thing. We try to rub this epoxy along this outer edge. without making a giant mess. We have our paper towels and everything ready, just like we did before. It's gonna drip a little bit, but we'll take care of it. I'm trying to apply just enough to make a rim around this cup. Some people use glues. I found that just straight epoxy gives you the best bang for your buck when it comes to keeping it sealed. All right, so just like that, we're gonna get it on there. Then we're gonna flip this, you gotta do it quick. You gotta flip it and spin it. Oh, of course I'm having a hard time. And spin it down tight. Use your paper towel. Wipe the extra epoxy off and spin it and twist it down tight. Keep wiping off any excess epoxy. All right, and just like that, we have sealed it in there, guys. So that little bit that's on the inside, that's gonna cure up around the threads on the inside. Then this will cure up around this outer edge and it's gonna really hold this in place. Um, so we're gonna let this sit for about 24 hours. Then you're gonna see, I'm gonna go out and I'm gonna add just a little tiny bit to this outer edge. Well, actually I'm gonna leave it. And in about 24 hours, we're gonna test it. And then we're gonna flip it back over and then let it go for 72 hours. All right guys? But I have never once had this turn into a problem when I do it this way. This, this has been the fail-proof of all fail-proofs way to do it. But you've got to make sure that this on the bottom, this epoxy on the bottom has time to cure, just like you left this top one time to cure. So I'm not going to tip this over or turn it or anything because of all that wet epoxy. I want to give it the best chance it has to curing without having any contact to the water. All right, guys, so we're just going to set this over off to the side and we'll be right back. All right, guys, we'll see you in a couple days when that's cured up. All right, guys, there we go. She's all beautiful. You can see the fun snow globe effect. Now, the more water you put in, um, the less of the uh, air bubble that you have. So you just kind of choose based on your personal preference how much of an air bubble you want. Um, it's just an easy, fun process. And there we go. If you do have an issue with leakage, you can take silicone glue and put it, beat, put a bead of it right along this edge um, and then wipe off the excess and just let it seep down into that crack and that will help make a little seal on there for you as well. Um, but like I said, this has been pretty full foolproof for me. Uh, but it's just really fun. All right, guys, I hope you learned something new. I hope this is a very useful uh, tutorial for you. It's really, really fun cup. Um, this is a good seller, um, but it's just a lot of fun. These, these snow globe cups are just a lot of fun to make. Um, you could do all kinds of fun themes with these. Um, it's super creative. This is just the most basic um, one solution inside, not two. 
glitter, one type, not multiple. Simple, simple, simple. This is just the straightforward storyboard cup, no leaks. All right, guys, we'll see you on the next tutorial. Bye, guys.